Hello everyone, welcome back. It's really late at night, but that's because I'm jet lagged. I just came back from a long trip to Asia and you know, we always get these late night cravings. My late night craving favorite dish has to be Anda Bujia. And there's no better style than you get on the streets of Mumbai, right? When you go out late at night in Mumbai, you see all these street vendors, you know, uh, the, the crowd around them, the Anda Bujia, the Egg Bujia that they make is absolutely fantastic. So that's what I'm recreating for you today. Let's get started. First things first, the ingredients. Obviously for um, an egg dish, egg burji in this case, you need eggs. So I have six eggs over here. I have some onions, uh, finely chopped tomatoes, some uh, cor coriander or cilantro, and I have uh, ginger. You can grate it or cut it or use a paste, whatever is convenient, and green chilies. And then we're gonna serve this with some nice pow tonight. That's how it's traditionally eaten in Mumbai. And then for the spices, there are the normal spices, but there's also one secret ingredient that makes it specially Mumbai style. So you have to wait and watch what that ingredient is. So if you're going to make it Mumbai street style, it's got to have tons of butter. I put some, but I just added another dollop because why not? So that butter is nice and hot. You can see it's sizzling. So to that first, I'm going to add some ginger. I add ginger, people add onions first, I add the ginger first simply because ginger and green chilies it allows flavors to get infused into the oil, right? So when I add uh, ginger and green chili, I give it a quick stir and now my butter is full of that flavor and then I'm going to add some onions to it So that's about uh, two medium onions that are finely chopped. I don't find uh, chop it too fine because I like the texture of onions in the bujia. So we'll stir that and let the onions sweat. This should take about three to four minutes. At this stage, you can see our onions are starting to brown and we don't want it too brown. That much is good enough. So we're going to add some tomatoes to this now. And I like to add about, you can add as much as you want, but I like to add about one tomato, finely chopped, to this. And we're going to add some coriander. I'm going to add half of this. I have a lot in here. That's about three tablespoons. So I add about one and a half, about half of it, right now. And give that a quick mix. Now we need to let these tomatoes cook first. After that, we'll add our secret ingredient and salt and other spices. Okay, now it's time for our masalas. And in Mumbai, when you're on the street, they have this nice tawa on a fire and you see them uh, kind of you know, smashing all the ingredients together, just like this. And that's to get a nice consistency, right? So here are my masalas and here's the secret ingredient. So for a Mumbai style, Egg burji. You can make egg burji any way you want, but if you want it Mumbai style, you have to add this right here. That is pav bhaji masala. That's what makes it Mumbai style. So I have pav bhaji masala, about one tablespoon, half teaspoon of uh, chili. You can add more if you like it spicier, and some turmeric. So we drop that in there and give it a quick stir. Now we want these masalas to cook as well with the mas with the uh, onions and tomatoes. So we keep pounding it till it's nice and fine, and you get a nice even mixture. So let this cook for about a minute. In the meantime, I want you guys to tell me what is your favorite Mumbai street food. Mine has to be this anda burji for sure. But there's so many street foods in Mumbai: the chutney sandwich, samosas, chaat. I can go on and on. In the comments below, tell me what you like. I'd love to hear from you. And I also want to show you the last ingredient, of course, is the hero of the dish, the eggs. So when my do when I beat my eggs, I add about a tablespoon of water and some salt. If you'll notice, I haven't added any salt to this. That's because the salt's in here already. So when you add salt and some water, it keeps the eggs nice and soft. So when I make this eventually, you'll see the end result. And wait for it. 
my masala is good to go see how it's all come together so beautifully and now it's time to add the eggs i have about six eggs over here that i've beaten i'm going to add those eggs and here's the key with egg burji it's a very personal choice if you want it not to dry then i'll show you what to do if you want it dry then there's another way but in the meantime we're going to keep stirring this till the egg cooks it's going to start cooking very fast so this doesn't take more than about three minutes at most maybe even less and um, when we uh, finish cooking it off partially i'll show you what to do to stop it at the right time so one thing i forgot to mention i've been cooking this on medium heat not high heat that's very very important and you can see this is still a little wet now if you like it soft and fluffy at this stage what you want to do is move it off heat if you like it dry let it cook for another minute i don't like it dry so i'm going to move it off heat and we're going to serve it up immediately now the last step in this for your mumbai anda burji street style is we're just going to garnish with the remaining dhania or coriander and serve this up with pav with um, you know with bread however you like it but traditionally this is eaten with uh, with pav which is an indian dinner roll which most of you hopefully know and you can see my egg burji is nice and done but not too dry that's how i like it and that's it folks so we have mumbai style egg burji ready to go late night snack jet lag works perfect i hope you like this video and i'll see you next time